The Eco School Box project addresses critical climate and environmental issues, including water scarcity, dust pollution, poor nutrition, and economic barriers to fresh produce. Many regions face recurrent water shortage and hinder agricultural productivity. While dust storm impact air quality and health, students often rely on expensive and low-quality supermarket produce, resulting in poor nutrition. The Eco School Box offers a multifaceted solution by promoting self-sufficient food production directly within schools, allowing the students to grow their own fruits and vegetables. The system maximizes limited space and utilizes water efficiency through integrated water collection method. The project also fosters community engagement by teaching sustainable agricultural practices, encouraging a sense of responsibility among students. By providing fresh produce for school lunches, the Eco School Box enhances nutrition and helps students develop healthy eating habits. Surplus produce can be sold at the local market, generating funds for school activity, thus reinforcing community ties and creating a sustainable funding model. Moreover, the project contributes to the greening schools, providing a vibrant learning environment that can serve as practical laboratories for subjects like biology and environmental science, it has caught the attention of the Minister of Education, leading to discussion on revising the basic education curriculum to incorporate hands-on hand learning experiences. This initiative addresses challenges such as the lack of laboratories in Timor-Leste basic schools, offering students real-world opportunities to engage with ecology, plant biology, and nutrition. The Eco School Box prototype design process was focusing on feasibility, sustainability, and community engagement. It began with youth leader and youth council brainstorming to define project goals and name the initiative while assessing students' educational needs and the resident agricultural potential. Next, the project engaged community stakeholders, including teachers, students, local leaders, and community members in Target Sub Village, fostering a sense of ownership and gathering valuable feedback. This collaborative effort set the stage for the prototype's development, designed to maximize space for vegetables grow and provide educational benefit in biology and natural science. Funding effort involved coordination with the Department of Youth and National Society Development to secure financial support for the pilot pace. Presentation to teachers and students highlighted sustainable agriculture and reinforced the project educational objective. The community showed commitment through contribution like masters and papaya seeds and enhancing a school's infrastructure and collaborating with CVTL Likisa branch. Support from the Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, including the provision of plants such as tangerine, lemon, alongside technical assistance from agriculture extensionists who help with seed machine and soil preparation. An unexpected opportunity arose when the Minister of Education invited CVTL to participate in revision the curriculum, allowing for the integration of the Eco School Box into natural science education, addressing the lack of laboratory facilities in Timor Leste basic schools. Following a feedback loop with students and teachers for refinement, a successful presentation to the National Health Quartel led to plans for expanding the project to Trophy Municipality, understanding its potential impact. The pilot gardening activity are set to begin on August 26, 2024 at EBF12 Gariana, supported by Gabinetti Apoyo Sustainability Civil under Prime Minister. The Eco School Box project significantly enhanced the student engagement as the student actively participated in gardening activities that not only increased their interest in sustainability but also lead to improve attendance in related schools activity. The project contributed to improve nutrition by providing fresh food and vegetables for school lunches, resulting in greater meal satisfaction and a decrease in nutrition deficiencies. And this initiative also strengthening community ties by fostering collaboration between the schools and local farmers, 
with any access produce sold at local market, thereby enhancing community ownership for the project. Apart from that, the hand-on-hand -hand gardening experiences provide practical learning opportunities for students, deepening their understanding on climate and environment, natural science, and effectively linking theory with practice. The integration of water from washing dishes and hands promptly design modification to optimize its use, while also highlighting the importance of teaching sustainable water practices. Collaborating with the Minister of Education reinforced the Eco School Box's potential to address gaps in education resources, particularly in natural science. In the other hand, continuous feedback from participants empathizes the importance of the interactive design approach, which allows for flexibility and necessary refinement. Engagement while environmental issue was shown to significantly boost students' motivation and enhance their overall learning experiences. Additionally, the project aims to collaborate with education authorities to enhance curriculum material and implement advanced systems for recycling water used in washing hands and dishes, offering training for teachers and community members on effective gardening techniques is a priority. In conclusion, the testing of the Eco School Box revealed its educational and nutritional benefits and its potential to foster community engagement, lying on solid foundation for future scaling in Timor-Leste.